Greetings, hi, hello, welcome to, and or welcome back to my YouTube page. I'm Fire Lotus the Witch. So, on this particular video, um, I kind of want to explain something because I did more research into it, and I'm, I'm feeling a type of way. So, uh, I mentioned in a previous video the Eightfold Path. I learned this and the name by a author. Um, well, when I went to look more up into it to kind of refresh myself, I realized that some people are stating that that was also directly took from the Buddhist, um, I think it's the Nine, it may be the Eightfold Path too, or the Ninefold Path, but it's their version of enlightenment. So I'm no longer going to call it the Eightfold Path, and I'm just going to call it the... I don't know, I'll come up with another name for it. But basically what it is, is it is eight, it labeled eight different ways that you can um, change your, change or alter your consciousness. Now you're probably asking, well, Lotus, what does that have to do with witchcraft and how the fuck do I even do that? It sounds like that's drugs. No, it's not. It's not. Disclaimer, it's not drugs. Um, so when you go running, if you've ever ran, um, runners in general can get an endorphin, um, kind of hit from it, um, that almost makes them feel very, very elevated, okay? Primarily through breathing. Um, there's probably other science behind that, but it's the breathing exercise is what I mean. <clears throat> Not just the breathing. But in general, and I may, which you will not experience this, but I may have to pause this because it is starting to rain. Um, but, and then I will have other people in the truck. Anyways, um, meditation, most meditations that we think of is the mindfulness meditation where you're sitting down with your own thoughts. And I had a creator, I'm going to, um, I don't remember their name, but I'll try to, after I ask permission from them, I'll see if I can actually like drop one of their links in here because they made a video on TikTok basically stating uh fuck meditation because meditation sitting alone with your own thoughts depressive thoughts anxious thoughts that could do really really bad damage so there are other ways of meditation any in me my definition of meditation is anything you can do to focus on one specific thing and or put your full on attention into one specific thing um but there are all different types of meditative techniques and most of them go with breathing um, you're controlling your breathing you're timing your breathing um, the one of the great techniques that I was taught in meditation is to count your breathing so you'll breathe fully out and you'll count to five or like five Mississippi and then breathe in and depending on how you la layer that um, it controls the amount of oxygen that's going to your brain but basically through that breathing exercise you're controlling the oxygen that goes to your brain that also changes your perspective um, it changes or alters your conscious state. Now, there are other ways of doing this. Drumming. Um, there's drumming meditations. You can dance. Uh, there are certain magical traditions where they dance in a way, in a ritualistic way, where it almost goes into a trance. And in that trance is where spirits can either control them or kind of step in and or express themselves more. So that's a way that they're fully connecting with spirits. But specifically in witchcraft and the particular type that I'm talking about now, you also do this if you were to ever ritually cast a circle or actually call the corners, raise a lot of energy. In the process of raising that energy, you are changing your perception. Um, another great example of this is um, Outlander uh, at the very beginning where they are, um, they're dancing in the stone circle. Again, they're altering their perception. And another key thing with that is they're spinning. Um, throughout history, uh, especially in the medieval times, it was a belief that when you spun like that, it was a way that you could cross into the spiritual world. Um, so if you did that when you were a kid, like I did, there could be a reason behind it. It's you're again, you're crossing planes. It's also a, uh, I say this wrong all the time, but it's a lineature space. It's a space in between spaces, uh, which is in fact exactly what a magic circle's purpose is for. A lot of people are like, well, no, Lotus, that's protection. That's only one of the many, many reasons you use it. When a witch creates their sacred space, I'm going to start calling it that because not everybody uses a circle. When you create your circles, your uh, sacred space, and you are active in it, 
it is basically supposed to be a imagine a bubble or a box a pocket dimension okay it is supposed to be outside of obviously you're physically here but with the raising of energy and conjuring with the spirits it puts you into an in-between that is not necessarily on the spiritual plane but it's also not necessarily on this plane you literally create your own plane of existence but you're also planted in both of them um, and a lot of traditions you will see things like this as well um, but yeah I'm starting to realize that one of my authors or some of the books there's a lot of things that were taken from yeah but I'm processing that so with um, certain music now I do have to do a slight warning to this if you start to explore Hertz and frequencies Please do your research extensively on what hurt or frequency that you were using because some of them can cause nightmares and a lot of bad shit. So be careful with that. But there are certain frequencies that you can find here on YouTube and hurts included with walkthrough meditations. The actual sound frequency alters your perception. It alters your state of conscious. So we had music, we've already went over dancing, and there are other ways as well. Um, like I mentioned, control breathing. I tried to actually find the list of the particular list that I was actually looking for, and I could not find it online. Um, so if you have one of the books specifically, I believe it is in the first and second book um, of Christopher Temple of Witchcraft series. Uh, I'm trying not to speak bad about anybody or anything like that. Um, but uh, if you have it, could you drop it in the comments of what they actually list? But it is primarily with music, um, dancing around, um, exercises, and in a way, control. That's what I meant by the Eightfold Path. It's basically different ways to alter your state of conscious. Um, there's also, obviously, before I say this, YouTube in no way, shape, or form, am I encouraging the use of illegal things? There are natural things that you can find that can also, um, for an example, certain mushrooms or certain natural psychedelics that can be found in nature. That's also what it does. It alters your perception of the world around you. Um, primarily, most of them open it up to where you actually perceive more of the world around you in a whole different way on a multiple level aspect. Um, but you can do that naturally, too. There are even songs that you can find here on YouTube that if you have good headphones and you find the right one, it gives you a head high. Um, but it's also a cool way to realize that about our bodies and what they mean by, now Now I'm going to get a little woo-woo out there, uh, not only are we connected with one another, but our bodies don't just give off electricity. It, it, it shows you how well ancient knowledge, how much they knew. Like, uh, look into the pine needle, pine needle, pine needle? Pineal, pineal gland um, in the ancient Egypt and what they knew about it before there was any medical research done about it. Um, and there's also some interesting papers that have been recently released in the past um, few months to like the past two years of uh, scientists actually starting to look into connected consciousness and what consciousness is and um, the six senses that we have. I hate when people say they're paranormal. I don't think they're supernatural at all. I think they're the exact opposite, and they're, like, purely natural. Um, but you can use that as a tool to be able to gain access to the other side. Now, with this being stated, uh, if you start to research this, you may come across things that are known as flying ointments. Please be extremely cautious and do not randomly buy one online and try it out because you can fuck yourself up. Um, do an extensive amount of research because depending on how it's formulated you could be extremely um, allergic to it um, not to mention there are other side effects I have one that's um, I'm probably gonna say this wrong too Dantra uh, it's a poison plant <clears throat> but you can also safely use it in specific ways to help with dream work jumping the hedge um, you know, things like that, dream work, meditations, a lot of other things you can do with it, but you have to be extremely careful because there are side effects. Uh, the one that I have, one of the side effects is like you, you, you almost feel hungover the following day and it'll give you a really bad headache. Um, so please be cautious and do not, under any circumstances, 
read a couple of paragraphs and then go out and try to collect it yourself because there's alk there's chemistry involved in that there's a lot of other things so please be careful with that um i would though if you're interested the poison path apothecary is a really good book i think that's what it's called i'll have the book link below it's what got me introduced to the poison path and they're also coming out with a new book soon um but yeah so that's what that is um if you're like, well, Lotus, I have a hard time meditating, find different types of meditation techniques, whether that's painting, drawing, and if you're art, if, you, uh, if you're into the arts, you know, doodling, drawing, coloring, stuff like that, uh, painting, you can use your psychic abilities to go into that. It's another way that you can use your brain to connect it. Um, there's also things as like automatic handwriting. Just be cautious because with the automatic handwriting and using paint as to like channel it through, it is another way that you can accidentally make a connection to a spirit that you don't necessarily want. Um, so if you do start to do anything like that, please make sure you have your wards and your mental protections up because if not, you can fuck around and find out. So, as always, though, we have made it to the end of this. What was your favorite Saturday Saturday morning cartoon growing up? Let me know in the comments. Um, and if you have any questions, also let me know in the comments. The most recent video that I posted on Landsphere, it's got a lot of questions, which I absolutely love. And if you haven't already, go ahead and like this, share, and subscribe. And make sure you hit that bell icon so you get all the notifications of when I go live and or when I post. Until then, I'll talk to you all later.